number one, what are we really doing to these two? We're really going to subtract, okay? So do they have a common denominator? Yes. Which one's bigger without the signs? The 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 11 twelfths minus 7 twelfths. That gives me 4 twelfths. And I'm going to take the sign of the 11, which is positive. Divide both of these by 4. And you get the final answer of 1 third. So we're going to add these. This is one whole, so it's one and then one plus three is four fifths and make it negative. When we subtract these, take the absolute value of both. Which one's bigger? 4.2, right? So we're gonna take 4.2 minus 3.3. .3. Cannot take three from two, I gotta borrow. That's a nine. That's a zero. Take the sign of the one on top, which is negative. Yes, we are going to subtract these, but let's get a common denominator first. Common denominator is 14, correct? So this is times two, this is times two, this is what, four fourteenths? So we're going to take the 9 fourteenths minus the 4 fourteenths, and we get 9 minus 4 is 5 over 14. Take the sign of the 9, which is negative. We are going to subtract these, right? Take the absolute value of both. 4 is bigger, so we're going to take 4 minus 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, well, this has zero thirds with it, right? I have to borrow. The four becomes a three. Remember your new numerator, you add those two together and you get three. Three and three thirds is four, isn't it? Yep, three thirds minus two thirds is one third. Three minus one is two. Take the sign of the four in the original problem, which is positive. We're gonna subtract these, so let's make this one improper. It's 15 over four plus negative, three times four is 12, plus one is over three. Get a common denominator. The common denominator is gonna be 12, isn't it? Four times three is 12. 15 times three is 45. Three times four is 12. So 13 times four is 52, right? So we're gonna take 52 over 12 minus 45 over 12. And we get don't we get 7 over 12? Hello? Take the sign of the 52, which is negative. We're going to add these, right? The rule for adding or subtracting, you line them up. So we're going to take 3.1 plus 0 0.35. I'm going to put a 0 there. Add them. There's five, there's four, drop down your decimal, there's three, and keep the sign, which is negative. How many of you got negative? Yep, we're gonna subtract on this one. Which one's bigger after the absolute values? 12.48 minus 10.636. I am subtracting, so I have to put that zero there. I cannot take six from zero. Eight's gonna become a seven. 10 minus 6 is 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. Cannot take 6 from 4. That's a 1. 14 minus 6 is 8. Bring down your decimal. There's a 1, and then those are zeros. Take the sign of the 12 in the original problem, which is positive. We are really going to subtract. Take the absolute values. Which one's bigger? 20, right? So I'm going to put 20.25. Minus 
one, one. Again, I have to put a zero there because we're subtracting. I cannot take one from zero. Borrow. 10 minus one is nine. Four minus one is three. Cannot take seven from two. I can't borrow. I'm going to make this a 19. 12 minus seven is five. Nine minus five is four. And one minus one is zero. Take the sign of the 20, which is positive. They're both positive fractions, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, when we, if we wanted to get a common denominator, when in doubt, you can multiply the denominators together. I'm going to show you something that will work every single time as long as you're consistent. I am going to start down at this 9. And I'm going to multiply up to the 6 and put that answer there. So I'm going to take 9 times 6, which is? And then I'm going to start with the first one's denominator and multiply up 7 times 8. What do I get? And all I have to do is compare these two numbers. How does 54 compare to 56? So this 6 sevenths is going to be less than. You know what that really just does? These are really the numerators when you get 63 as a common denominator. Now, do you notice anything about this? Do you notice anything about this? Aw, it's a heart. Isn't that special? It's so awesome. Math, math is love. Okay. Some of you guys are going to go, Mrs. Bowen, that's stupid. You're dumb. I don't like love. Never going to be in love. So this is what you're going to do. She's so dumb. Ah, that's 54. That's 56. So it's greater. Well, is that true? No. Do you see what this makes when you do that? When you see that on your paper, what is that? It's wrong, isn't it? So it's got to look pretty. Oh, it's got to be a heart. When we're comparing decimal values, they're both negatives. So drop down your negative sign, okay, and compare their place values. That's a negative, that's a negative. Five, five. That's two in the tenths, that's two in the tenths. That's five and that's zero. We're going to compare negative 5 to, well, it's not really going to be negative 0 because 0 is neutral. So how does negative 5 compare to 0? Less than. If you notice, the 7s are whole numbers, right? Mm -hmm. They're the same. So mark those out. Just drop off the numbers and the place values so that they're the same. And then, aw, what are you going to do? It's going to be so pretty. 10 times 7 is 8 times 11 is 88, right? So how does 70 compare to 88? It is 15. Notice one of them's a decimal, one of them's a fraction, right? Mm -hmm. Which one do you want to convert? Fraction decimal. So this is negative 2 and 6 tenths compared to negative 2 and 3 fifths. Well, the negative 2s are the same, aren't they? Okay. Drop down the negative signs, put them out front. We are going to be comparing 6 tenths and 3 fifths that are going to be the negatives. Just drop down your negative. 5 times 6 is? So that's negative 30. 10 times 3 is? That's negative 30. So these are? It's negative, so bring across your negative sign. Does 40 go into 17? Nope. 0 times decimal point. Add a 0. 40 into 170 is? 4. That's 160. Subtract to get 10, I gotta put another zero on there. 40 and 100, two. That's 80. Subtract to get 20, I gotta bring down another zero. 40 into 200, five. Five times 40 is 200. Oh, 
This is what kind of decimal? Doesn't repeat. It terminates. 